What is up guys, welcome back. My name is The Six Machine and we are here for some more Warhammer content. So today I wanted to do something a little bit different and have a chat about my favourite chapter, the Dark Angels, and what models we may see for them in the future. In particular I wanted to have a quick chat about the character models and whether any of them may be crossing the Rubicon to become Primaris anytime soon. So with the release of the Psychic Awakening books you will know that both the Blood Angels and the Space Wolves got named character releases in the form of Ragnar Blackmane and Mephiston. Now the Dark Angels did also get a named character, however theirs was not a character of old, they instead got the completely new character Lazarus. And I think a lot of Dark Angel players were expecting to have a redone character like the Blood Angels and the Space Wolves got, and I'll be honest with you when I first saw Lazarus I wasn't entirely sure that it wasn't a redone Azrael. Certainly the model has some features that I would expect to see on a redone Azrael. For example, the, the winged helmet and the robes. But in the end, of course, it wasn't Azrael. It was Lazarus, a new character. And his lore was somewhat controversial among Dark Angel players. Some people liked it, a lot of people didn't like it. But most people seem to agree that the model itself was relatively good, if a little bit plain. And I believe that the designer actually went on to say that it was planned as being just another regular HQ character and it was only at a later point that they decided to make it a Dark Angel specific character and give him some of that cool lore and background. And you can kind of tell, I mean he is a cool looking model and everything, but there's something missing that means he just isn't on quite the same level as Mephiston or Ragnar in my books. Lazarus just looks a little bit more generic. And I mean, if you took away his, his winged helmet, he could very easily pass as an HQ character for pretty much any other Space Marine chapter, which Mephiston or Ragnar, like you can tell that they are a Blood Angel and a Space Wolf character. So in this video, I just wanted to take a look at the Dark Angel characters and see which of them I think may be crossing the Rubicon next. So with the coming of the supplements, I thought that perhaps we would be seeing another named character get a Primaris version for the Blood Angels, the Space Wolves and the Dark Angels. However, it looks as though this may not be happening, instead it looks as though there's going to be a brand new unit being released for each of these chapters. For example, the Space Wolves getting the Hounds of Morkai. What I thought might happen is that the Dark Angels may get a character of old, which is how I'm going to term them, um, redone, whilst the Blood Angels and the Space Wolves got a new, you know, a new named character like Lazarus was, so that each chapter had a redone old character as well as a brand new character which would allow Games Workshop to keep the old alive as well as push their narrative and start including some new characters to carry the stories. But in any event that doesn't seem to be the case so let's take a look at the Dark Angel characters that we know and love and have a chat about which of them may be crossing the Rubicon next. So let's start with the two that I think are most unlikely to be getting an upgrade in the very near future and that is the Masters of the Ravenwing and the Deathwing Samael and Belial. The problem with Samael is that he is of course on his jet bike and I think this causes a potential problem for Games Workshop. I, I really don't think they know what to do with him. Do they upsize and redo his jet bike to make it fit with his new Primaris model? Uh, do they just put him on an outrider bike? I think the issue is that because he is known so much for being the character on the last jet bike in the Imperium, or at least he was until the Custodes showed up, that if they took that away from him, so many players would be disappointed and angry that he had such a big fundamental change. And I genuinely think that it would take a lot about his lore and a lot of his uniqueness away from him. There are of course the new land speeders in the Codex, the Stormstrike and the Thunderstrike and the other one I can't remember the name of, but I just I can't really see him being put in one of those, it doesn't really fit his character they seem to be very shooty and he's very much a get in the face of your enemy, enemy move up and fight character. Belial has a similar issue although Games Workshop have shown that they are still willing to do Terminator models as we've seen right now there is a new Terminator chaplain which is available to order but as far as I know that's a limited edition model so I don't imagine that that is a clear sign that they are still going to be pushing lots of new Terminator and character models for us and for Belial I mean for a lot of Deathwing players the Deathwing is the Terminator company and Belial is the Terminator master. So Games Workshop are in a tricky situation with what to do with him because obviously Primaris Marines typically haven't been in Terminator armor. I know Kalgar's got his own unique one but there is no Terminator armor for Primaris so do they Primarisify Belial and put him in Terminator and like put him in aggressor armor sorry which would annoy a lot of people because I know aggressor armor is very sort of 
uh, hit or miss on, to, on whether you like it or not? Do they just put him in some kind of blade guard vet armor, or do they just leave him in his own unique Terminator armor like Kalgar had, which is sort of like a pseudo Primaris Terminator suit of armor? Now that's not an insurmountable problem, because as we've seen they have done it with Kalgar, but I think GW are still somewhat undecided about what they want to do with those sort of characters like uh, Belial and also what's the uh, Imperial Fist fellow with the Thunderhammer Storm Shield, um, Lysander. Whether they want to just keep them in their own bespoke Primaris version of Terminator armor or, you know, turn them into some kind of aggressor suit. And I think that a lot of characters where changing them to Primaris would mean that they got a big fundamental change to their visual profile is something that Games Workshop are still quite wary of at the moment. So I think unfortunately Samael and Belial will probably have to wait until Games Workshop are a bit more sure about what they're doing with Terminator and Biker replacements for characters so that they can you know follow in line with that um, way of, of redoing the characters. Up next I think is a character that will be getting the Primaris treatment before too long but I don't think he's going to be next in line for the Dark Angels and that is of course the absolutely batch Shit crazy Asmodai. We all love him, he's ruthless, he's evil, he's slightly mad and absolutely hilarious to read about, but his model isn't that old. He came out in I think towards the end of 6th edition, it's the same time as Belial, so his model isn't exactly new but it's not, you know, 20 year old old. So realistically he's still pretty workable, although I will say that Asmodai as well as Samael and Belial are all fine cast, so you can bet your bottom dollar that Games Workshop are going to be wanting to update them realistically as soon as they can. I think the main thing to consider with Asmodai is that Games Workshop recently have done a lot of chaplain models. There's the new one from Indomitus, there is the new biker chaplain they've just released, there's the original Primaris chaplain that they released a few years ago, uh, and then there's this new Terminator chaplain that I just mentioned. And I personally don't think that Games Workshop are going to want to do yet another Primaris chaplain model anytime soon. I think they're going to want to hold off and get some other stuff done and then come back and do Asmodai when they feel the need to do another Primaris chaplain. I also think that the model for Asmodai himself is still really quite decent looking. It looks very dark angely, it's very menacing and imposing. I don't think that Games Workshop have a huge issue with needing to replace him immediately like they possibly do for some of the other characters. And then of course we're going to move on to two of quite possibly the oldest characters in the Space Marine range and perhaps even two of the oldest characters in the entire Games Workshop range which is Azrael and Ezekiel. Now I can remember fondly looking back on these and, and holding them in my hand and playing with them back in 2nd edition when I started playing 40k which I was 10 years old when I started and I am 33 now so they are at least you know a good 23 plus years old they are they are old in fact they're so old that they're both still metal they're not even fine cast they are still metal and I'm sure there are some viewers and listeners that don't even remember the time when you could get metal minis in the little blister packs but yes Azrael and Ezekiel um I just want to say as well I love the models Azrael and Ezekiel are two of my favourite models in the entire Games Workshop range. I think they look fantastic, but you can't deny that they tremendously need an update. They're metal, they're tiny, they're embarrassingly small compared to like m Marines in general, let alone Primaris Marines. But the sculpts are really, really, really fantastic. It's also worth mentioning that if you played back in 6th edition, the Dark Angels were kind of the poster boys for that edition and they did actually get a company master and a librarian in the starter set which, although not officially, said they were very clearly um, intended so that you could use them as a replacement Azrael or Ezekiel. I believe even the, the master had a combi plasma which is the same weapon that Azrael has, although Azrael's is a bullpup design and technically doesn't have the capacity to fire based on how it looks, but we'll get into that another video I'm sure. They were not official replacements for Azrael and Ezekiel, so officially Azzi and Ezeki are still those old small metal models. And I think most people were actually expecting Azrael to make an appearance as the Dark Angels Primaris character. Like I mentioned earlier when they showed the first images of Lazarus, I remember reading a lot of chatter about people questioning as to whether it was Azrael or not, and I do think that of the two, Azrael is going to be the next uh, character to become a Primaris Marine for the Dark Angels. I would love to see both of them get done at the same time, I really would, but if I'm going to have to hedge my bets and choose one, I'm going to side with Azrael. The reason for that is that a lot of the more recent fluff for the Dark Angels revolves around 
Luther escaping from the rock and a large gathering of fallen on the far side of the galaxy and if you are a Dark Angel player you will know that there are layers upon layers of secrets and inner circles within the Dark Angels and Azrael the Supreme Grand Master is the only one that knows Luther was locked up inside the rock so presumably knows that Luther has escaped so there gives that connection between Azrael and if they do push this sort of gathering of fallen as a narrative or you know campaign arc in ninth at some point that will give them the the key sort of good guy and bad guy to set up there i think if they did that they could have it so that luther met azrael on the battlefield and azrael got you know so injured that he had to go through the primaris treatment to to survive and let me be clear i'm not saying that that's definitely going to happen i mean it might not uh, i don't know what's going to happen in ninth but Games Workshop do quite often put hints in their lore about events that are going to impact the game and, and impact the setting, so I don't think that they would have just dropped the fact that Luther has escaped and there is this gathering of fallen, you know, unless they were planning on doing something with it. So I think Azrael is pretty much guaranteed to be the next named character that gets a Primaris version for the Dark Angels. I think realistically he may well be the next named character for Marines that gets a Primaris version if I'm being completely honest, but we don't know what their timescale is or what's going to happen. There is one other character that could potentially be the next Dark Angel release, and that is of course the Lion. I have to say it. You know, it, it, it's a video about upcoming releases for the Dark Angels, you have to talk about the line. There's been a huge amount of discussion on various forums about the reason why the Dark Angel supplement has been... Um, many people have used the word delayed, and I don't think that's accurate. I don't subscribe to the theory that it's coming out next year because it's going to coincide with the release of the line. I honestly think it's just a case of Games Workshop doing their scheduling and trying to fit in as much as they can before Christmas, but without completely overloading the player base with constant Space Marine, you know, releases. But one thing I would be interested to see is if we do get a Primaris Azrael, I think it would be very telling indeed to see whether he keeps the Lion Helm as a piece of war gear, because the Lion Helm has been part of Azrael's character since, you know, second edition when I started playing. And it's, you know, really nice relic, gives you a throw up and vulnerable save against shooting to all biker and infantry units within six, it's great, but it's the Lion Helm. It was said to be worn by Lionel himself, and so if Azrael keeps it, in my mind that kind of indicates that maybe the lion's not coming back soon because Azrael still got his helmet. If Azrael got a new model, a Primaris model, and he didn't have that relic and didn't have that rule anymore, you got to think, where's that helmet gone? Is someone, you know, are they keeping it aside now because someone else is going to come back with it? Someone that might actually wear it? Now, I don't want to speculate. Um, I, again, I don't know anything, but I do think that would be quite interesting to see when and if Azrael does, does get a Primaris version. But as I said, I think in my mind, the release for Dark Angel Primaris characters over the next few years or however long is probably going to be Azrael, then Ezekiel, then Asmodai, and then either Samael or Belial when Games Workshop figure out how they're going to treat the Terminator and the biker characters that need to become Primarisified. But that's just my thoughts on the matter. Who do you think the next Dark Angel character is going to be that undergoes uh, the Primaris treatment? And also, I'd be quite interested to hear what you would like their character to look like. Do you want an action pose like Ragnar has for the Space Wolves? Or are you like me and you feel like Dark Angel characters should be a bit more... I don't want to say static, I prefer the word stoic. Uh, you know, they've got the reserved pose, they're there not to sort of be fancy and elaborate, they're there just to win. Let me know in the comments below, and if you have any other information or things in the lore that I may have missed that could give us an in indication about who may be coming next, or anything else that is in the fluff that, that, that may sort of like help us see what characters may be likely to get um, the Primaris treatment in the near future. Let me know in the comments below and I will definitely check that out. But thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, and until the next time, I will catch you later guys.